Welcome to The Confident Networker with your host, Simone Douglas. In each insightful episode, she chats with one of the leading people from the BNI and business world. Okay, so on today's uh, episode of The Confident Networker, I am joined by the most fabulous Catherine Han from Affinity Financial Planning Australia. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, so, Catherine, if we're, perhaps we can start um, for the benefit of the listeners who obviously haven't met you yet. Uh, tell us a little bit about your business and what you do. Okay, so I am a financial advisor, mm-hmm. but a lot of people don't know what that means. Yeah. Uh, So what I do is help people make a real financial plan. So if you ask people the top three things that they want in life, it's good health, Mm -hmm. it's good relationships, and it's good wealth. So I'm helping them with the good wealth. I'm their wealth coach. Yeah, nice one. Uh, So Catherine is a member of BNI Storm that meets at 7am on Wednesdays. Um, Catherine, how long have you been in BNI for? I have just had my fourth anniversary. Very exciting. So um, yeah, four years. Four years is a long time to get up at 7 a.m., you know, 48 weeks of the year to go do networking with people. Why are you still in BNI? So luckily for me, I'm an early morning person, (laughs) so that's not a big deal for me. Um, There's a number of reasons why I'm still in BNI. The first one is it helps me grow my business and that helps me make money. So I'm a business person, so that's why I do it. Um, I've also... Um, develop great relationships with other business people and they help my clients so yeah, nice. I can refer other people to help my clients and then thirdly they help me just in my everyday life because I'm a self-employed person and so they're like my mentors and my marketers. Yeah fantastic that's a really good way of looking at it. Mm. Uh, so why is networking important to your business? Well, it helps grow my business Mm -hmm. um, and I'm always keen on growing my business. I don't want to stay in the same place. And even in financial services in particular, if you stay in the same place, you're actually going backwards. Yeah. Um, So I want to grow um, and networking is the main part of how we grow in financial services. Uh, Your industry as a whole is at a really interesting juncture right now. You know, so um, I think I read or heard somewhere that there have been, you know, I forget how many planners exit the market. About 3,000. Yeah, I knew Mm. it was a lot. Mm. So, um, yeah, 3,000 planners who have kind of gone with all of the additional learning burdens and having to go back and get degrees and all sorts of things. Um, So there are lots of people getting out of the industry. You're obviously passionate to stay in the industry. Uh, How has BNI and your chapter members supported you as you've gone through that journey of doing all the additional learning and training that you've had to do? Um, well, one of the um, core values of BNI is lifelong learning, yeah. and I'm really passionate about lifelong learning for me, so I, that really struck a chord with me. Mm-hmm. Um, so the the ongoing education for me is not such a big thing, yeah. but it marries up and it ties with the values of BNI, which I really enjoy. Um, and also, I guess they've helped really not only um, what's happened in financial financial services and the Royal Commission and all the added burdens from compliance and education that we have to do. Um, but they've also helped me sort of, I guess, with my mental stability yeah. over all of those added pressures that I've had. And yeah. I had a really tough time a couple of years ago and I don't think I would have made it through without my BNI and family. Yeah, fantastic. And I think that's the thing is that, you, you know, when you're brand new and you go and join a networking group or BNI chapter for argument's sake um you start off by getting a whole heap of new business friends but Mm. you know the language that you're using is about family and i think that's the transition that happens over time when you form those really strong relationships which is great Mm. absolutely and i think probably at year even year and a half Mm -hmm. i didn't quite get that yet yeah i think it probably took to two years before that really cemented in my heart and my mind that that's what they were Um, Out of curiosity, do you have a rough idea what percentage of your business is made up of B&I referrals? Um, The number of new referrals that come through my business, about 50%. Wow, that's huge. Fantastic. But do do you think that that's grown, has that grown over time as you've been a member? Absolutely. And particularly for financial advisors, it does take a little bit longer Mm -hmm. because it's such a trusted relationship. You know, 
not just about their finances, but literally about my clients yeah, all of their lives. Yeah. <laughs> and so it takes time to build that trust and, and it takes time to set up that trust and that relationship with BNI people so they will refer their clients and their family and their friends. Yeah. What what has been your biggest surprise over the years um, when it comes to being a BNI member and um I guess for me it's that you don't ever actually give it up. Don't get too busy, don't stop because mm-hmm. you never know what's going to happen, where your biggest referral is going to come, where yeah. your best relationship is going to come. I will never leave b and I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I, I quite enjoy seeing you want to go visit on Wednesdays. Uh, who has um, surprisingly helped you the most? Because I think often, you know, when we go and visit a chapter and we're not really sure what it's about because we've never seen B&I, mm. um, you know, often people go, well, my clients aren't in the room, my ideal clients. That's often something I hear visitors say. Mm-hmm. Um, but in my journey, you know, the pest control guy gave me the best referral. Like it was a massive ongoing piece of work. Mm. Um, who has surprised you? By- yeah, I wouldn't say surprise because most of my referrals come from my power group. Yeah. Because we have the same kind of clients yeah. without competing with each other. Yeah, no. So my best referrer is an accountant. Yeah. Um, that so that sense. kind of makes yeah. sense. The ones that have pro- – and and one of my people that I lean on the most is my bookkeeper. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that I don't understand finance, but she's my compliance auditor for that. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. The most surprising probably is most really recent. Yeah. Um, our newest member, yeah. um, Mary Ann. Yeah. She's in marketing. This is not something I get. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand it. Yeah. I know it's essential yeah. to my business. Um, and, I, and I guess I put it on the back burner because it frightens me a little bit. Yeah, that makes And sense. she's made me feel comfortable. Oh, excellent, mm. yeah. Uh, one of the things that I love um, and loved about being a chapter member and even now as an executive director having 184 business family members mm. uh, is, you know, being able to go to those different people like Marianne and, and ask advice or, you know, have a conversation without feeling stupid. Mm. Um what is the best piece of business advice you've received from a member of your chapter? Best piece of business advice, I think, and mm-hmm. it's probably something I've only learnt in the um, last four years, yeah. is to be a bit more humble. I'm very okay. goal orientated yeah. and very driven and I want to achieve my result. Yeah. And I tend to sometimes get a bit tunnel vision. Yeah. So just take a big bit of a step back, be a bit more humble, a bit more open yeah. And then things will happen. Yeah, that, and that makes sense to me because I think a long time ago someone once said to me, you have to be prepared to be vulnerable first yes. Yes. if you want other people to be vulnerable with you. Mm. So if, you're, if I'm always the high achiever, if I'm always, you know, look at me, I'm doing all these things, aren't I fantastic? Mm. Um, then there's no safe space for anyone else to be honest with me about how they're feeling or if they're struggling with something because of the day you know the comparison thing yes i couldn't do that i couldn't be yeah yeah yeah, exactly Mm. so i think um you know it's amazing what happens when you just you know you actually just slow down a little bit you know don't get me wrong i love celebrating big stuff (laughs) it's so do i (laughs) you do like a bright shiny object i think you and i are very similar (laughs) like that um where is your uh favorite place to catch up um and do a one-to-one with another member um, for a time perspective, mm-hmm. straight after the meeting. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Um, it's not that I don't do other ones outside yeah. meetings. You know, I go for coffee yeah. in in somebody else's favourite area or yeah. my favourite area. My office is in Norwood, so there's yeah, lots nice. of coffee places there around is. there. Yeah. Um, and But I also really enjoy, we have a good social um, yeah. network with our Storm family mm-hmm. and we go out and do things together. And sometimes it's like... A picnic in the park with the kids yeah. and the family. That's nice. been one of the best ones. Yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. Actually, I like. That. Do you know? Um, I'm always fascinated when you go to those social events that the chapter might put on, and you see people parenting their children. It yes. teaches you so much about who they are as a human being. Mm-hmm. So I love like being able to engage with people like that as well. But I was actually expecting you to say the golf course because I know how much you love golf. <laughs> I do love my golf, and um, over the years I have. Um, 
a great number of my clients are from golf. Yeah. Um, because if you spend five hours with somebody every week, you get to know them really well. You really do, absolutely. <laughs> and you build that relationship and that trust. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, what would you say is um, the one thing that you wished you'd known sooner when it comes to B&I? Like if someone could have given you a piece of advice that could have helped you you know, settle in faster or, or, you know, start building relationships sooner? Um, probably be a bit more patient mm -hmm. because I expected I was going to win the world in six months Yeah. Um, and it takes longer than that. Yeah. So give it some time yep. and just commit to the basics. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense to me. Absolutely. Uh, what would you say to another financial advisor or someone in those finance industries, if they'd been they've been invited to this B and I thing, mm. you know, someone's like rung them up and said, oh, you know, you need to come along to breakfast or lunch or whatever it might be, mm. um, and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure this is a thing. What advice would you give to them? Um, well, I would say come along and meet some other business people yeah. because you might just enjoy your breakfast and meeting other people. Yeah. That never hurts. Um, there might be room and opportunity for you to make some connections where you can help your clients mm -hmm. you know people who come along don't have to join they just yeah. have to come along and experience mm -hmm. it actually only took me one meeting to, to survive this was for me and yeah. I wasn't invited by another financial person yeah that um, makes sense and I just thought yeah this will work this will help my business grow yeah I think um I was invited along my business, well, my first business was three months old and I was like, I would like some of that money, please. They're yes. talking about all this closed business mm. that they're doing. I'm like, I know how to make friends. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, I've also invited other people because I wanted them to meet someone that was in the room because mm. I knew that there was a benefit yes. for the two of them that they could do work together or they could help each other's business. Um, and I still remember, you know, like saying to um, – Sergio who's who ended up joining but I said to him you know what are you doing on Friday morning um you really need to meet Chris Edgar from Red Dog Building it's coming into Christmas he's your builder the only place I know where he's going to be that I can pin him down mm. is Friday morning at breakfast at his B&I chapter mm. um and he's like oh the B&I thing you know I don't want to join. I said I'm not inviting you to join I mean do you want to meet Chris mm. uh, I will make the introduction and you know you guys can have coffee or whatever after the meeting so yeah yeah absolutely um, and rings me up like two days after the meeting goes, so am I allowed to apply? And I'm like, you can do what you like, but that's not, you know, and I think sometimes that's the concern when you've got visitors and things. They're like, oh, but you're inviting me to join. I don't want to join. I don't have time. And it's often, I, you know, I invite people to meet other people. Mm, exactly. Um, but you'd be amazed that there are actually some people out there who haven't heard of being on. Really? <laughs> that's true. Best kept or secret. Had, or had refer, heard of it like I had, yeah. but didn't really understand what it was. Yeah. Just heard bits and pieces, but never been to a meeting. Yeah, that makes mm. sense too. Uh, so... I suppose finally to wrap up, if there was one person that you could have coffee with um, that might help you take your business into its next stage um, or a, is a good potential referral partner for you, who would that be? I would love to have coffee with an estate planning lawyer. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Because they are the people that I refer to the most. Got you. That makes sense. So there you go, listeners. If there is an estate planning lawyer um, out there or if you're good friends with an estate planning lawyer, then, you know, maybe just look up B&I Storm on uh, the B&I Adelaide North website. Uh, book yourselves in. Go have breakfast with the lovely Catherine and, you know, make some new friends, which is what it's all about. Thanks very much. Thanks, Simone. Cheers. Thank you for listening to The Confident Networker. You can find more episodes and information at bnian.com.au slash podcast.